Hey, one safety thing that I forgot to tell you about is make sure it's unplugged before you start any of this. Do not open this, touch a screwdriver to it, do nothing to it until the thing is unplugged and you have removed the power supply from the back of it. Um, otherwise, who knows, you could shock yourself, you could hurt somebody else if somebody else is there with you. Um, or you could just make a spark and ruin the CD player. So just make sure that it's unplugged and that you do everything safely. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Hi guys. Um, what we're going to do today is take apart a CDJ1000 MK3 and try to replace this jog dial. Um, not the whole piece, just the outside surround because as you can tell, it or you might be able to tell, it is um, really glossy. Uh, the reason is I got this on eBay. Um, it was all sticky when I got it, so I used rubbing alcohol to try to get the stickiness off. And I think somebody had maybe, uh, I don't know, spilled a drink on it or something. But anyway, it works fine. It's just that, uh, and I did get all the sticky off, but then the rubbery kind of gummy coating on the outside of this that has that really nice soft touch feel came off with the rubbing alcohol. So I started looking on YouTube how to open these things, how to replace that part and everything. And I did find a couple of um, pretty good tutorials on how to open these things up, how to open a CDJ800 specifically. I think the guy's name is Prion Johnny. Thank you for that. But what I found is when I opened this, it is different. It, the inside of these is much different than the inside of an 800. So I had to look for other videos on these and I did find some that opened them up, but I didn't find any that disassembled them to un the unfortunate degree that we have to do this. If you're looking at this, trying to figure out whether or not you wanna do this, that's why I'm making this video because I didn't know what was involved when I started this process a few nights ago. Um, a little more background. <laughs> I also have an MK2. Uh, it's a CDJ1000 MK2. It's right here. And it has the nice rubbery coating on the outside. And my plan was to just switch them out. And then I was going to um, put this one on the, the MK2. Well, the thing that's different is you can adjust the jog wheel on these. There's several differences, but I mean, one of the biggest differences is that you can adjust the jog tension light and heavy on these. You cannot do that over here. That does not have that option. So um, I don't know if you guys could see that, but because it's kind of dark down here, but um, there's no control for that. So when I opened it up, the inside of this one is totally different than the inside of that one. And this ring, when I disassembled them both to this degree, um, this ring differs in a few really important ways. There are some notches cut out of these. Actually, I have my spare one that I'm going to replace it with right here. Um, so I had to order this online off of eBay from the seller's name is Rock and Soul DJ Equipment and Records. Thank you, Rock and Soul. Anyway, um, this surround has, I don't know if you can see it, but there's those notches there and they fit into corresponding pieces uh, on you'll see this in a minute, but in, the 1000 mk2 does not have those instead it has you unscrew them You take a piece out you take the the platter kind of looks like this in there And then there's another one that comes down on top of it and you screw that onto it to hold them together I don't, It's totally different So anyway, that one wouldn't work. I got a new one and we're going to open this up The way that you do this is the same as the CDJ100 to get it open. Um, or, C sorry, CDJ800. Um, what you do is there are six screws on the body of this. The first one is back here, and I've already removed them, but the first one is back here. It's this one right here. And then <clears throat> you're going to need a towel to flip this over onto. I've got mine rolled on both sides like this. Ooh. Okay. Hard to do one-handed. But, so anyway, 
I've got this here. The other screws are, there's, I don't know if you can see this, but there's one right here. There's one right here. There's another one right here. And another one right over here. And then the last one is in the front and it goes right there. Now, the these are actually in pretty deep holes and I had to use this little guy which is a handy little magnet on a stick. I highly suggest you get one of these no matter what fuel you're in. It comes in very handy and they're sold at most uh, hardware stores. And it extends pretty long as you can see. And um, what you do with it is you can just use it to pick up screws and it works really well for those holes right there because as you can probably imagine, they're not something you can get your finger in to get. Anyway, I recommend you get that. Also, what comes in handy for this operation is we've got um, this tray here. And don't worry about these. You're probably only going to be using this guy right here. It's not an incredibly technical operation that we're doing, but it will take a little finesse. Um, but the lid to this is separated into two sections. I don't know if they did this on purpose, but what I use it for is I put my outside screws, because there's only six of them here, and then there's going to be a bunch of inside screws that are all the same size, and I'm going to put them all right here so I don't lose any of them. Um, when I put it all back together, it'll be a little easier and nothing is rolling around, and I don't have to go looking for screws, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, also you're gonna need a screwdriver to open it, and then probably, I've got these little guys to hopefully help me with, there's some ribbon connectors in here that are kind of stubborn, so. Um, I think that's it for the, um, the setup. So, we're gonna go ahead and open this. What I'm gonna do is just open it like a book and put the bottom half next to it. Okay, it's open now. And right away, some differences I can point out between an 800, which was in the previous video I had mentioned, and this thing is that your, um, your ribbon connector comes in here, but this board here obstructs the part that we need to take out. And it's not like that on an 800. On an 800, you can just undo all the screws and then just pop this piece out in a very easy manner. But what you and I have to do, since we're lucky and we got the big beefy MK3-1000, is that we have to go along and each of these screws here that has a triangle next to it, we have to undo them. Okay, there's one under this wire here, 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 here. This one's down deep, so you're going to have to probably grab it with the magnet. This guy right here, and there's one right here. And um, while we've got this open, well, actually, I'll probably show you that this gear mechanism here, this, this plate covers a bunch of gears. That's what goes to that thing I was telling you about earlier where you can adjust the jog dial.